Hi, everyone. I'm Kristen. Hi, I'm Sorry, Deborah. Best of Debra. De Debra, my best of Debra. <laughs> and one. we are here after hours live at the Museum of the Bible. So cool. So beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So there has been no objects that have come to life just yet, so I think we're all <laughs> okay. Anyway, night at the Museum of the Bible. We're here for a special event this evening, but we thought we'd jump on Facebook Live to talk about Sing 2020. Now, Deborah, violin player, director of our touring here at Getty Music, and my friend. Anyway, and um, what are one of, one, of, ugh, one of the things you're excited about? I'm so excited about this conference. I mean, every year it's so much fun. And one of the best things I think is getting to see so many of our friends mm -hmm. and people who've become friends over the years of touring. Yeah, and so touring and 15 just, years. I mean, I have to say all of our favorite people in one place together playing yeah. music and mm -hmm. having fun and yeah. hanging out and just like all under one roof. It's just, yeah. it's kind of a big party. It's super fun. And that's so <laughs> great. Yeah. And I mean, we have some people that come across from, from the UK. One in particular is my uncle, John Lennox. He came last year and we are so excited that he is coming mm -hmm. again this year. Last year's book and John won this year just talking about the power of the scriptures and all of life. And I'm just excited that he will be coming for that. And another person coming from the UK who we just confirmed is this fabulous, uh, classical Baroque soprano, Joanne Lunn. Mm -hmm. She's going to be singing the soprano arias for the Messiah, the Handel's yeah. Messiah singing. And I mean, just look her up. She's amazing and she's such a lovely person. And she's I haven't a fabulous person. met her in person yet, but I just can't wait. It's going to be yeah. fun. She sings and like magnificently. An angel. Yeah, yeah, I know. So like I'm an very excited yeah. about that. <clears throat> um, I'm very excited about this. So we're going to use the word excited a lot. So I feel like <laughs> so we're just excited. buzzing here. But um, um, we have a children's conference, pre-conference, that um, we've done the last two years. This is the third year. And just yesterday confirmed that Paige Benton Brown would be speaking, oh, which is incredible. She is one of the greatest um, Bible oh. teachers and in speaking into um, children's ministry. Um, what she's going to do, she's going to do the opening talk and looking at the Bible and, and um, the, the whole children's track is going to be sing the word and um, how the Bible should be you know, central to all of life and, and teaching our kids and how they read the Bible, pray the Bible, um, sing the Bible and Paige is going to um, help direct our attention to how critical that is. So that is going to be yeah, she, one not to miss. That's the Sunday before the main conference starts. Mm -hmm. Anyway. And then another thing I'm excited about, I'm a little biased, but um, my <laughs> husband is going to be conducting parts of the choir program and the orchestra again. And I mean, he's pretty great. So very great. It's just really fun to be able to share the stage with him and do things like this together. And um, so I guess it goes along with my earlier thing about all my favorite people mm -hmm. being together. But it just it's really fun to be able to do these things as family. So we have a number yeah. of family groups yeah, within our own. band and within like the, the wider Getty music community. And it's just fun to be able to share all so that. So, because together. you said that, I should also say that I'm very excited about working with my husband. Well, obviously, <laughs> goes without saying. Now we are um, married 16 years this year, and we still have not had a night apart. Um, yeah. We have done all these things together, and so it's great to have another occasion to do all that. Yes. Um, we are busy writing more songs, so not just Keith and I, but Matt Papa and Matt Boswell and Jordan Coughlin and Matt Merker and other people are trying to write songs, really speaking into. Um, this whole topic of singing the scriptures. I'm also, we're also recording a lullaby album. What's happening in May, Kristen? I'm turning 40, 40 <laughs> years old, everyone. Yes. 40 years, wonderful. 40 years, <laughs> she's still got another year, so we're gonna have to do another album for you next That's year. Right. Exactly, yeah. a violin we'll album or something. That's oh. what we should do, a violin album. Anyway, um, this is gonna be basically lullaby hymns, hymns that, you know, to sing to your own heart, but also to your children. And we're gonna launch that at the hymn sing at the Grand Ole Opry with Johnny Tada. Yay. She'll oh. be with us again, yeah, so that'll be, um, really, really fantastic. So the band, we're going to record it in the spring and we're looking forward, so we're writing into that as well. So we're looking forward to sharing these songs and singing some of the songs with you and joining many other artists and singers and musicians, worship leaders um, to, to bring these songs and others to you in traditional hymns. We're, it's going to be a real feast of, of music and singing and time together. So today is the last day of our early bird, re early bird registration. Um, so if you want to go follow the links and the bios and websites and from Instagram to Facebook um, and come and join us if you can. Deborah's going to be there. Yeah. And I'm going to be there. Come be one of my favorite people. <laughs> now, how could you refuse that? Anyway, we look forward to chatting more about Sing 20, Sing the Scriptures. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.